Hey everybody, how you doing? Sam Bell here from PPC Boutique and uh, I'm really excited because I want to share something with you that's actually a really a big deal right now uh, and that has to do with the Facebook conversion pixel. Uh, I know that there's been a lot of confusion uh, about you know do's and don'ts with the conversion pixel, how, how it should be implemented, etc. So um, and I know my, for myself uh, even as I was looking to make the transition um, from just from you know running an agency on a day-to-day -day basis and transition from the traditional conversion pixel to the new Facebook master pixel uh, I was even a little confusing um, myself so uh, through trial and error and then also through some uh, some training that I received uh, from Phil over at uh, I believe it was uh, the Shopify Pro uh, course which was an excellent course by the way um, you know, I'm, I'm always learning, I'm always trying to evolve. So uh, I took that combined with the information that I've learned just from just doing this day in and day out. And I wanted to kind of give you a checklist of, uh, of different things that you may want to be aware of uh, before you switch over to the new Facebook conversion pixel. Now, with that said, if you are currently running Facebook ads and you've been running Facebook ads for a considerable amount of time, more than likely you've built up a lot of data using the old pixel. So the first thing is I do not suggest you just immediately switch over everything from the old conversion pixel to the master conversion pixel. You wanna do a transition. The reason being for this is that you wanna season the new Facebook pixel. And I know that may seem like common sense, but you know, believe me, um, <laughs> it's not. So I'd rather say, I'd rather say it uh, just so that way you're aware. Now, um, I know that may bring raise a question, well, what about you know getting data um, from multiple from multiple pixels? Um, will that throw off my numbers? And the answer is no, um, especially um, especially if you are selecting your events and tracking properly. And I'm actually gonna go through and I'll walk you through each of the steps and, and what it means and, and probably um, what we're doing to implement uh, the transition. So uh, with that said, I'm just gonna jump right into it. And um, if you have any questions or, uh, or comments, you can just leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer it for you. So let's just jump right in here. Um, so this is an account um, that I manage and I'm gonna go here to the master pixel setting here okay and that's uh, under tools and pixels and what you'll notice here is that you have uh two pixels so you have your old conversion pixel and you have the facebook conversion pixel now traditionally the way that we would set up our campaigns is that we would create um different conversions based on the things that we wanted to measure so whether it was a lead whether it was a webinar registrant whatever the case may be then we would create a pixel for each event in that process well with the new facebook conversion pixel there's really no need um, to do that now they have allowed to still create specific pixels for specific things that you want to track um but based on my testing, it's not really necessary. And I'll explain why as I, as I go through this uh, here shortly. So, so you still wanna leave those old pixels that you have in place for the time being, okay? And that's until you have enough data to where you can then transition into the Facebook pixel. Um, and I'm gonna share with you the best way to implement that. So, so here uh, is our master pixel, right? And when you click on a view pixel code, this is the main pixel that you're going to implement. This is the Facebook master pixel. And this basically is going to go on every single page of your website and funnel. Okay. And then we're going to actually come back and implement, um, implement very specific tracking based on uh, the different steps in your funnel, whether if you want to track a lead, whether if you want to uh, track an add to cart, whatever the case may be. So the first thing is, put this on every single page all throughout the funnel, even on the pages that have the existing pixel, okay? Now, let me walk through this because this is also very important. Um, these are uh, the different conversion uh, metrics that you can measure with the new Facebook master pixel. So you have a view content pixel, um, you have a, a search pixel, you have an add to cart pixel, wishlist pixel, um, initiate checkout, Okay, so when someone actually uh, clicks on the checkout button, um, add payment info, purchase, okay? So you can actually pass the purchase amounts, pass that data back into Facebook uh, dynamically. 
lead pixel and registration pixel. Now, um, for all intents and purposes, if you're doing um, any type of uh, e-commerce, then a lot of this other stuff is gonna come into place such as add to cart um, and purchases uh, as well as view content. You know, those are things that people are using. Uh, a lot of the things that I do, especially working with clients is, is primarily focused around um, lead generation and uh, registrations. So basically what will happen is I will put this main pixel on every single page in my funnel and I would take whatever conversion metric I wanted to track. So if, say for example, the first step in the funnel is a lead. So someone actually comes to my landing page, they put in their name and email address and then the subsequent page that they land on, that would be um, that would be like the thank you page. So that way I can fulfill on whatever the promise was uh, in my lead magnet once someone opted in. Now on that page, I would still have this main pixel code, but then I will put this track lead. Okay, so I will put this code directly underneath um, the pixel code and I'll show you how I actually have this implemented here uh, in a second as well. So let's say the next step in that process is when someone comes to the uh, to your opt-in page that you want to um, maybe have them you know go through another step and either register for a webinar or if 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 you're selling a, a product or service maybe there's an add to cart button so then that way you can you can implement that uh, as well all right and I'll again I'll, like I said I'll show you how I implement this so I'm actually going to go to um, go to a page where I actually have this pixel um, implemented and I'm going to some of this stuff would be blurred out but I'm going to show you the imp the stuff that you need to know uh, that you're going to want to implement yourself so this is a landing page that uh, that we're driving traffic to um, and basically what I have on this page uh, is I, I have multiple pixels, um, but the primary thing that I want you to focus on is that I have the master pixel and I have the view content script on the landing page, okay? And then I'm gonna take you to the thank you page so that way you can see what's there as well. But basically what we implemented is this, this code here and the view content event code, okay? And just to show you what that looks like, I'm just gonna go to my developer tools here. Okay, so you can see here, I have the main pixel code and there's a default um, tracking script of page view. The next thing you'll see here though, is I have track view content. And I basically have this implemented directly under uh, the master pixel. So now if I want to optimize for content views to ensure that Facebook is showing my ads to people who are more likely to engage or view my content, then I wanna be able to, then I wanna implement that. And so the next step would be obviously after they come to this landing page, they're gonna opt in. So then after they opt in, then I'm gonna still implement the master pixel and then I'm gonna have the, uh, the track lead script. So let's go to the next page and I'll show you that as well. Okay, so now this is the thank you page after someone opted in. So I just wanna show you how we implemented this and then I'll go back and I'm gonna show you how you can actually set up some custom conversions uh, as well um, that you can you can actually track. So let me just show you this. Go to my developer tools here. Okay, so again, so you'll see we have the master pixel code and before where we had view content, now we have track lead. Now, when you actually set up your campaigns, you can actually choose, and it's actually much easier to implement, but you can choose um, just to track all pixel fires throughout your funnel. So it's important that you have the proper, um, the proper scripting of what it is that you wanna track, what action you wanna track 
on each page, implement it correctly, because when we actually set up our campaigns, um, we're able to track all those things across the board. And I'm going to walk you through that uh, as well. But I just want to show you how that was implemented. Now, if you were going to be implementing this based on the different steps that you had in your funnel, you may implement view content, you may implement lead, you may implement purchase, complete registration, but that gives you the general idea. The next thing I want to share with you is that you can also create custom conversions as well. So in, in addition to having the base generic conversions of what I just showed you from say view content lead, you, we can actually get specific, um, but it will be based on either a keyword or URL. And this is what I mean. And this is probably the thing that's most similar to the old conversion tracking pixel. So basically what you would do is you will come here and you'll click on create custom conversion. You're going to make sure you have the proper master pixel selected, and then you just choose what category it is. So in this case, if I wanted to say lead, then what I would do is you want to put the URL here and automatically switch up to URL equals, right? Um, so in this case, I would take, take my URL, put this in here, and then you see it automatically switches to URL equals. And then I would just give this a name, give this pixel a name. So then now when I actually go to create my, uh, create my ads, I can actually choose that pixel uh, to track. The challenge with implementing custom, um, custom conversions as it exists now is that Facebook only will allow you to have 20 custom conversions. And I'm going to say you want to make sure that you have your URLs correct when you set these up because believe it or not, Facebook have not has not implemented a way for you to really edit or delete uh, those pixels. So let me show you what I mean. So if you go here under custom conversions, you'll see that I already have, you'll see that I already have a few custom conversions um, implemented, but I'm gonna show you what I'm referring to here as soon as this loads. Okay, so you see that there's already custom conversions that have, that have been implemented. Now, when I go here and say uh, edit, well, first of all, you see there's no way to delete it. So once you create it, that's that's it. That's what you're stuck with. There's no, there's no coming back. You can't you can't you can't delete it. Um, which is, is crazy. And I'm sure at some point in time, Facebook will change this, but this is just how it's set up now. Um, and then even when you go to edit it, there's no way to actually edit the URL. So that's why I'm saying when you implement this strategy uh, or implement custom conversions, make sure you have all your URL, URL tracking and everything set up properly. Otherwise that's what you're going to be stuck with until Facebook changes this. And that's why I said, this is probably not the best way to implement it, uh, to implement, um, conversion tracking is probably much better just to go with the standard um, generic lead. Okay. And I'll, and again, I'm going to walk you through how, um, how that's set up and structured as well. So let's actually go through uh, setting up a campaign. I'm just going to just walk you through just as an example. So that way you can actually see the implementation of the new pixel. Um, so essentially we'll just go and create an ad and this will, pretty much works the same way, whether you're in power editor or if you're doing it from the interface. I know a lot of people still use the interface, so I'm gonna just do it here. Um, but same thing pretty much applies. Um, so let's say if we wanted to increase conversions, right? So we wanted to start with website conversions. Um, so I'll put in the URL that I wanna promote here. Okay. And then in my drop down menu, you'll notice that it has every single conversion available. So now it's gonna show you uh, the master pixel is going to show you the old conversion pixels. And it's also going to show you the custom conversion pixels. My recommendation for you is implement the master pixel and select what you want to optimize for. So if I wanted to optimize for view content, just like I showed you on the landing page, then I would select um, my master pixel view content. If I wanted to implement the lead, then I would use my master pixel uh, lead. All right. And 
those are the ones that I have actually fired because they've been implemented uh, in this account. But you can see it also has all the other ones at at payment, at the card, purchase, etc. Um, however, you're only going to implement the one that you want to optimize for. So in this case, um, mines would be I would want to implement the master pixel lead. All right. And then basically you go through, set your audience uh, and budget just like you normally would. For the sake of time, I'm not going to go through the whole process of uh, setting up this campaign, but I just wanted to show you show you on the implementation side of how you would uh, how you would set that up. So uh, I definitely hope this has been helpful for you. The main points that you want to understand is that if you're using old conversion pixels, leave those pixels in place. I do not recommend just taking those pixels out. I do recommend you implement the master pixel and start creating campaigns using the master pixel to kind of wean yourself off of the old conversion pixel. So that way you just don't throw your campaigns, throw your campaigns off. Because if you just implement the current uh, Facebook master pixel and switch over your campaigns to start tracking, all your data is going to be thrown off. It's going to take Facebook time to gather that data to re-optimize those campaigns. So my advice to you is keep your current campaigns running using the old conversion pixels, implement the new master pixel so that data can start being gathered and then any new campaigns that you create um, once that new master pixel has been implemented then you can actually start using the master pixel tracking so um, i hope this has been helpful uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment and uh, i'm happy to answer all right take care i hope you enjoyed